is another district. Who also is another district. We are in the Volta region. When we get to Hohoi, we will continue to a, a tourist attraction that is a waterfall, one of the pretty waterfalls in the eastern part of Ghana. It's called Wli, W-L-I, Wli Waterfalls. Uh, when we get there at the reception, we have to walk for about 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on one's uh, fastness. Some people get there in 30 minutes, some get there 45 minutes. And uh, it's very pretty, especially during the rainy season and after the rainy season. Now, this water comes from a rock. And where that rock is, it's between Ghana and Togo. Just after climbing that rock, you are in another country. It's so amazing. Volta region was once not part of the Gold Coast. Was once not part of the Gold Coast. They were being ruled by three uh, superpower countries. The Germans, the French, and then the British. So a country has been divided by three and they rule them. When we had independence in 1957, before we had independence, before we had independence, Kwame Nkrumah taught it twice to write a letter to the League of Nations. At that time, it wasn't United Nations, it was called the League of Nations. That he wanted to know that those in the British territory, whether they will be part of Ghana when Ghana attained its independence. So, uh, the League of Nations also sent some people to all these three protected areas to explain to them. Out of that, there were two political parties that emerged. One said yes, another one said no. So there was a place besides. And after the place besides, a lot of them decided to be part of Ghana when Ghana attained its independence because they were under the British and Ghana also were under the British rule. So there was a demarcation. Where we are now, we are driving now, should have been part of Togo. But because of Kwame Nkrumah and the League of Nations, they did a demarcation and all this place became part of Ghana. So right now, there is a very good demarcation and all that places is part of Ghana now. When you come to the Volta region, the people over here are Airways, E-W-E, Airways. They speak, although they, are, they all understand each other, they have five different dialects. Five different dialects, but they all hear each other. For example, I am a Fanti. I speak Akan. When an Ashanti person speaks, I understand. When I also speak, I, he or she also understands. We have 75 ethnic groups that speak 46 dialects in Ghana. Some of them interrelate, so we understand ourselves. Most of the people in the Volta region are farmers. Some of them are very good carvers that they carve wood, drums, and a lot of things. The sad aspect is that this farmers doesn't have uh, machines to have a very large farm, but they have just a small farms, the farm at the end of the year they can sell and get something little and then keep them going. Although there are officers and uh, there are people who work for the government all over, but majority of the people are farmers and traders. The 
best food when you come to the Volta region and you haven't tasted that that means you haven't been to the Volta region it's called Akpune Akpune or Banku and then Okro uh, Okra stew or soup it originated from this region they are people in Ghana that they can turn corn and cassava into so many products so many products uncountable one they are peace lovely people and wherever they are they get to know that you are his brother then they have to speak their home language so Volta region is a very nice region it is the only region in Ghana that rises from the south to the north when you look out uh, my map is somewhere Ghana map uh, can I get the the the, the top book if I have one There's a Ghana map. It's already had you on the map already. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, this is the Ghana map. From the south here, all to the north is the Volta region. So when you're talking about Volta region, they have the northern part of it. So they also share a common boundary with the people in the north. When you come to the eastern part of Ghana, they also have when you come to the western part they share a common boundary with Togo and then the southern part they also share a boundary with Togo and then greater Accra all the climates we have uh, three type of uh, weather a uh, two type of weather sorry we have the dry season and then the rainy season they also have the dry season and the rainy season when you come to the southern part of Ghana including uh, Volta region it's coastal savanna when you come to the middle part it's forest area and when you go to the northern part it's Guinea savanna so as you drive along the uh, the weather changes as well as the temperature and then the trees things changes in the Volta region also you know every region also has a, a police commander fire service commander the security service every region we have 10 regions and all the regions also have a uh, uh, the security apparatus there we have the soldiers also here Kwame Nkrumah did this so that then if, if you want to attack Ghana don't think that the soldiers are in the south they are everywhere <laughs> from the north south east west they are, they are all around here so it's a lovely uh, uh, region and uh, there are people who hands are always open to receive people visitors thank you so much i will end here and the, if there is any question is there any tension with togo over that Someone want to know if there is any tension with Togo because of the Presley site or whatever. Uh, from the initial stages, yes, but now capital no. Uh, because they decided to be part of. There might be a family that will split into two. Some will go here and some will go there. Right now, Togo is being ruled by. French country that is France they will, although they've had independence uh, most of the things that they have there comes from France not only Togo alone uh, Burkina Faso Mali Niger Senegal uh, Benin and other and other uh, countries uh, Hold allegiance to, you know, France. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I think I have to communicate to the restaurant.